just when you think you could trust Telltale again with the expanse coming out this year and constant updates on the Wolf Among Us. They have gone and delayed a Wolf Among Us. I think this may be the third, fourth, or fifth billion time, and it is no longer released in 2023. And you've got to ask the question. This was announced in 2020. Granted, you know, COVID happened then, of course. But they announced it, I think, after COVID. Uh, in the summer, obviously, COVID happened in March. It was still going on, obviously, for about a year or so. It's still technically going on, if you will, today. You know, if you still want to be absolutely correct about that. But it's apparently no longer coming out in 2023. We'll be out in most likely 2024, 2025, 2026. I may be dead before I see Wolf Among Us 2. And, you know, I just don't understand. They released a gameplay-style trailer where you saw Big B, you go into the hotel, and what are they doing? Like... Say, you know, 2020 was sort of a write-off. You had the entire of 2021, the entire of 2022. They've had three months of 2023. They've obviously taken the rest of 2023. So I'm going to say that a long time. So you, that's three full bloody years by the time, you know, the game will be out next year. They have no excuse now to delay this. And the shameful thing is, the way this game looks, it looks no better, no different, no more enhanced than the original Wolf Among Us. I, I, I can't comprehend why they've gone with the Expanse first because people wanted probably a product or a game that they are familiar with, they can get back on the Telltale bandwagon. But no, they prioritise the Expanse, something more people than not will not know what it is. So delaying something that people are actually hyped for and actually releasing the expanse in summer is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I Telltale was a, a, I I know this isn't the original Telltale, you know, it's a smaller group, it's a newer group. Uh I am grateful at Telltale, but I, I I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Since they've come back, they've released no games, they've produced nothing, they've produced lies and lies and lies. And it's just update after update. Oh, sadly, we have to delay this and we have to push it out twice three. What are you doing? Say you work eight hour days. <laughs> Eight hour days, five days a week. There's a bunch of you doing eight hour days, five days a week. You may work overtime on the weekend. I don't know how it works for this company. I, just tell me what the fuck they're doing. Like the uh, the standards at Telltale have just gone down. The original people would walk streets over these people. You know, they I mean, obviously there's a reason why they closed down, but they closed down because they took on too many IPs. But to create The Walking Dead, Wolf Among Us, Minecraft, Game of Thrones, Walls and Gromit, um, <clears throat> all the games they released, <laughs> they came out such a quick pace. They'd announce them. They'd be out within about a year or two. Wolf Among Us 2020 is going to be out in 2024, 2025. We have no idea uh, any indication. They said they're going to release a conversation with IGN. Just fucking tell us when you're releasing it. Stop announcing things. Stop releasing videos and doing interviews. It's like, <sighs> like you're not a big game company if you're gta or rockstar you know you announce gta will be out at some point you you understand why it takes six seven eight years because they're building a whole fucking world the whole a whole city a mechanic all these characters if it's red Dead redemption if it's skyrim if it's these big games you're building a story game platform i'm not saying it's easy but you have taken ridiculous amount of time and these constant delays won't help people back telltale the expanse is not going to be enough. I, I, I find I, I find this baffling, just really baffling. Like, just this, the, the people who are working on this game, and I am going to grab that and be pissed off about it because you know you want to support these companies, but when they're constantly letting you down and disappointing you, and this is their sole bloody job to make this game. I, I can't support them if they're not going to... Because imagine the, when this comes out and it's the most mediocre piece of shit. Imagine it just is the, is as good as the original. We would have been like, oh, God, we've been waiting four or five years for this game. It comes out and you go, well, that just wasn't good. So there's a sense of the more you push it back, 
the more you maybe try to make it the best game ever, the, the, the best, best version, the, the fable storyline you possibly can, you're still letting down so many people. And honestly, I understand it's a very hard thing to do, coding and creating games, but you've had plenty of frigging time. If it had come out under this year, you'd understand it. But I think when they announced the Expanse coming out this year, I, I, I feel deep down, I knew this wasn't going to come out. Um, because for some reason they're just not prioritizing it. I, 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 I don't understand. Is there two teams? Is there one team working on both games and they're having to divide their attention? If that's the bloody case, just admit it. Just admit you are halting Wolf Among Us progress until the expanse is out, and then you're going to release it like next summer, for example. Don't say, "Oh, it's a hundred percent coming out in 2023," and then we're going to be releasing it probably in September, October, November time. Oh. Just so tired of Telltale because I am not interested in the expanse whatsoever. That is not me saying I'm not going to play it. I just want IPs I'm familiar with. Wolf Among Us, Walking Dead, Batman, whatever it may be. I know Walking Dead's owned by Skybound. But things that make you want to support Telltale. But I am genuinely going to be... Sh I won't be shocked by how many people turn away from Telltale. Because it's just not the same. It, it's like a different company, the way they're dealing with things and working with things. But, um, yeah. But you guys let me down below in the comments what you think. I have had a massive rant here, but it's purely because out of love, maybe, because I absolutely love what Telltale did years ago and the games they made and the fact that taking four years to make this game is ridiculous. Bloody ridiculous. Like, I think Hogwarts Legacy was built in, like, what, five, six years? I don't know how many years it took. Maybe less. <laughs> Look at the scale of that. I I guarantee you Wolf Among Us is even going to be the scale of that. Trust me, if I get this game and it's fucking brilliant and looks phenomenal, I'll I'll eat my words, but just ridiculous. So you guys let me down below in the comments your thoughts on Wolf Among Us 2, Season 2 being delayed out of 2023. No confirmation when it's going to be released because I, I don't think they're going to announce a date because if they have to delay it again you'll be seeing me again but yeah i'm going to keep you guys updated as much as possible with the expanse on wolf among us where i can if they announce a release then we're going to talk about it skeptically and go from there but of course subscribe like as always and if you want to see any telltale games come to the channel and see a walkthrough do let me know down below in the comments and i'll catch you in the next one goodbye